Hi. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's a little tiny dog on my chair behind me today. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. Oh, she's down there. Oh, where are you going, hero? Doesn't like me. Doesn't like the sound of my voice. Um, okay, so I posted a picture on my Instagram, asked if anyone wanted to see it. Loads of people did. Hundreds, in fact. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, before I do that, now that I've just put my hair back, I might just get my grey hairs because I'm really overdue um, a colour. So I'm going to just do that quickly. Does anyone else do this? I found it's like the easiest way to kind of do my hair. Um, I don't like going to the hairdressers too much. Because it's just a long time to sit still, isn't it? Um, and I get really bored. So um, in between where my grey roots come through, I just use the colour well. It's just a powder. I mean, back when I worked at MAC, I'd just use a brown eyeshadow. You know, a dark brown eyeshadow. We'd also use blot powder if our hair was greasy. <laughs> it was so gross. So, so gross. Did work, though. Um... So of course you could use an eyeshadow, but I assume this is formulated to sort of stick to hair strands better. Okay, right, you can see my hair, my my skin is not great at the moment, as in I've got some blemishes. So we are going to start by perfecting skin. Let me get my personal makeup bag out because everything I used um, the other day was from my personal makeup bag. So I started off with the Herborean Pink Perfect Cream. And then I just use a bit of this, just through here. It kind of gives a little bit of a blurring effect, minimises pores, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's do the skin. I bought this in Liberties the other day. It was expensive, um, really expensive, but I wanted to try it. Um, I bought the Vital Skincare Complexion Drops from Westman Atelier. It's about 60 quid, so it's super expensive, but it is lovely. However, it, you know the kind of foundations I like, so it's it's got the same sort of vibes as the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, but less kind of, this has a um, kind of like a light particle reflector in it, so it's got that kind of brightening glossiness this doesn't have that this is just glossy um, and it has no SPF that I can see of either so it's a little bit more of a just a foundation you need very little which I suppose is why it comes in this um, and I have definitely put way too much on my hand there this is the thing getting used to using so little um, is actually pretty difficult because you end up wasting a lot just by using the amount you would normally use and obviously you're going to use more if you pop it on with a brush. Mostly I've been applying it with my fingers. And then you waste none, you know. So I went to some events this week. Um, one of them I went to was 1999. You know that brand that I really like? I showed you the mascara a few weeks ago. It's like a very natural mascara if you like no mascara. You know, like if you if you want your lashes to look like they've been tinted, um, but a little bit more. It's like nothing but something, right? Um, so they had a breakfast thing that I went to. So I met the founders of that. So nice, such lovely people. Really nice to see um, independent brands like that. And it, they are a Canadian um, brand out of Toronto. And it gives me kind of, I don't know, it, it's a nice sort of, it's a nice, simple brand, but really stylish, really everything's kind of considered. Um, but it's not a million products. It just felt like a young, updated Mac, I suppose. Probably because of the Canadian connection as well. This foundation is nice. You'd want it to be, though, wouldn't you, for 60 quid? This is, again, this is like nothing but something. It's that kind of base. Um, I think it's one that makeup artists will really like. So brows, I'm going to use 1999 because they gave me these at the event. Uh, this is their brow pencil. 
It's graphite brow pencil. They do it in two colours, a light and a dark. I'm using the light one. It gives me Shuramura Hard 9 formula vibes. It's not quite as hard as, as the Hard 9, but... It's a nice colour, and if you're one of those that doesn't want to do the hair strokes, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and you just want like an easy brow, this is great. It feels like it's been a long time since I've done pencils. And then a spoolie on the end, which is great. So the mascara I was talking about comes in two colours. They have it in the taupe and the black. But, um, this is the taupe that you also use on the eyebrows. It's a really nice brow gel. I'm just going to grab this NYX uh, Lift and Snatch brow liner. The colour I've got is Ash Ash brown? Ash brown. Okay, just pop a couple of brow hairs just at the back of the brow here, just so when I'm in daylight, it doesn't look just like I've um, only got brows at the front. Okay, done. Right, so that's the brows. Then I went in with Victoria Beckham paint stick. Now there's so many different paint sticks you could use. I'm not sure necessarily that this is the one that I like more than any of the others. I really love the Bobbi Brown ones, for example, and this is totally fine too. But also the Beauty Pie ones are really good and there are, you know, Kiko do really good ones. So you have a lot of options of different price ranges. This particular colour is called Pecan. So that's going to go all over the lid. I would say that this particular shadow stick is maybe a tiny bit drier than um, than the Bobbi Brown ones. If you pre if you prefer something a little bit with a little bit more play time, perhaps the Bobbi Brown is you might get that with that. So I started at the lash line and then I'm working the product upwards towards the brow. This is a very easy makeup, by the way. I have, by talking, I've made it quite long-winded. My dog is eating a chew and she's making very loud, salivary noises. So I apologize for that. So easy to work with a shadow stick, isn't it? And of course, if you're one of those that finds that shadow sticks just don't stay put on you, maybe you have like naturally it, a, a bit more of an oily eyelid you can always set it with an eyeshadow and that will just keep it in place or even a powder if you use a translucent powder which you probably do if you've got an oilier skin just pop that over the eyelid so the brush I'm using is Beauty Pie uh, I very much like these brushes but but funnily enough when I initially got them I didn't like them at all um, but now they've really grown on me and they've sort of become a staple. I love how affordable they are. In fact, I just bought a new one um, only to find that I already have it, uh, but that it was in my daughter's room. And so I didn't know. I bought the Seamless Foundation Brush. It's brand new, not been used. And then here's the one that I just got back from Ollie. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I like them a lot. I also bought from Beauty Pie this month. These are their new cuticle remover and cuticle therapy. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I chew my fingers terribly. It's, um, I've done it for years since I was a kid and it drives me mad, but it just is what it is. I do it unconsciously um, and I wish I could stop, but I don't seem to be able to. So. Uh, this, this is the problem because it's unconscious and I don't realise I'm doing it. I, I do it when I'm stressed or a little bit anxious or, you know, or tired or, you know, a million things, really a million reasons, but it is what it is, you know. Anyway, cuticle. Cuticle remover might help me not chew the cuticles if there are none there, I figured. So this is my new thing. 
Inner Glow Cheek Powder Blush from Shiseido, which is Cocoa Dust. And I just took it through, through the crease. I love a product that you can double up on the cheek and on the eye. So I just went like this all the way up to the brow. You can layer this the whole way over that eyelid and your eyeshadow will just never go anywhere for the whole day. This brush again, this is another Beauty Pie one. Pro Eyeshadow Blending. And the other one was, I don't know where I've put it now. If I find it, I'll tell you. Useful if you're a member of Beauty Pie. If you're not, ignore me. Okay, now I look really tired. But don't worry, because we are going to do some concealer. Um, and I have to, because of all the blemishes on my face currently, so first off, you know I am going nowhere without this product. This is my Beauty Pie um, Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector. Comes in three colours, I believe. This one is the lightest one. And this doesn't give you coverage. It's not a concealer. It's a brightener. So if you're dark like me, or you have like like indentations that you want to make appear flatter, then this is the product. Um, not necessarily in this color, you, you know, you'll have to match it to your skin, but what it does is that it has this luminosity in it that reflects the light. So things appear not to be as deep and dark. So if you think of like a product like say Touche Eclat, in a much fuller formulation, so it does more if you need more. That's what this product is. I feel like this has turned into a bit of an ad for Beauty Pie, and um, I, you know, there's no. I actually buy my Beauty Pie stuff. They do occasionally send me things like new, new things, but most of this stuff, I buy. I have like the, you know, monthly subscription thing like everyone else. Um, I just really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, what was the brush I was making? So the two brushes I'm using, this is a My Fluffy Concealer from my Kitco in zero, 0 0.3. And then I'm using to blend, uh, this is a Pro Angled Concealer Brush from Beauty Buy. This is a very good brush. You can use it for a lot of different things of the size of it. It might be too big for some people under the eye, you know, but you could use it uh, for sculpting. This is Suki. She is lovely and sweet, but also just a bit gross. She's Ryan's baby. She really is. He adores her and she just follows him everywhere. So 19.99 do a lot of pencils and um, I picked up a navy one. I love a navy, you know I do. I'm mad for navy mascara and I've sort of been dreaming about it recently. So navy eyeliner on the bottom, navy eyeliner on the top, just a little. My dog's just totally freaking out and that's freaked me out. Went in there and they're looking, they're looking at a bit of the house that I can't see from where I was standing. I was like, oh my god, is someone in here? Anyway, I don't think it's anything. <sighs> anyway, there we go, dogs. Okay, so now I'm not concentrating and somehow I've made that a massively winged eye, which it wasn't planning on being, so I'll just buff it out a little. Now I love this combo of a warm brown with like the coolness of a navy.
So just take note of my placement. Even if you have hooded eyes, this is the way that you're going to place it. So it goes from the pupil out but lifted. Even if your eyes are hooded and you can't see it when your eyes are open, you will still get this depth along the lash line that will give you a lift. The other thing about navy is that it makes the whites of your eyes look so bright. Um, I'm really into it. I've always been into it. I find it like if you get like a nice deep dark navy like this, to me it's just a neutral. The lovely thing about this pencil is that it's so smudgy uh, because it's a coal. But the other thing is, because it's a coal, you would have to set it with a powder, otherwise it has the potential to move. So if you want an alternative that is much more, not, you know, that's much more likely to not move, um, then I would have said Marc Jacob highliners, because those were the absolute best, but that's not a thing anymore. Um, and these Beauty Pie ones are great and affordable. So this is, I haven't actually checked if they still do this. This is Deep Blue Sea. You know, people would be like, why would you make a coal if it doesn't stay put? Well, the great thing about a coal is that it moves around, so you can use it as an eyeshadow base. And also, the finish of a coal, the finish of a coal product like this is really much cooler than the finish on a product like this. This cannot be used as a base for eyeshadow, really, because you haven't got the playtime. And if you do, the layer that it leaves is much, uh, is, is a much heavier layer. And so, as it dries, it can look, it just doesn't look so fresh, right? Whereas a coal, you can go in and adjust at any time. And as a makeup artist, I like a product that's adjustable because when you're working on set, you have to adjust all the time, right? But as a person who wears makeup, I understand the need for something that doesn't move around all day. So it really just depends where you sit with that. I mean, you can set a coal with powder, but it does require another product so it depends what you want so this one is a gel eyeliner this one is just like a color pencil but normally they're called coals this particular one isn't this one is called precision color pencil um, but if it is a gel it will say it's a gel and a gel will set so there you go I feel like I completely over explained that I'm just going to do some concealer on my blemishes my beauty concealer this brush is a tiny little brush from Iconic on the actual blemish. There's not loads of concealer, otherwise we'd ruin the point of this lovely sheer foundation, wouldn't we? Other than on here, which is my burn, which is now still, you know, it is going to be like that kind of scarred for a bit now. And then what's left of that, I'll just pop around the eyes. You see how I completely fucked that up because the brush was too big. Fear not. All fixable. There we go. Problem solved. Now this is where a stiff bristle brush is really handy on the edge here because you can just use it to tidy up and shape your outside edges. Here I have the 1999. This was actually what was launching. It's a cream highlighter stick um, and I like it a lot. I'm going to use it. I'm actually going to use it with a brush, even though you can draw it on. Because everything else and the foundation area of Vivian is pretty light, I think it's only right to not draw the highlighter on as well, you know, like so you get that heavy line that you then have to blend. It's easier to add than it is to take away. So Let's just keep it light and fresh. However, I am going to put a bunch of it on my eyelid in a sec using my finger. Now the sun's just come out, so I might wait for that to go down before I continue. This particular colour is called Perla. And I just put some on the center here and is this gonna crease well it probably will over time you know because it is a product that's emollient but it's gonna crease a lot less than say putting a gloss on 
but you still get this nice kind of sheen and also it chills out the warmth of the eyeshadow quite a bit. But it adds kind of like a sexy sort of summer evenings type vibe. Once we get a bit of mascara on, I'll pop some in the, in the, just in the corner there as well. Then the mascara I'm using is um, my So Intense from Sizzly in Deep Blue. I love a navy mascara. These ones are my favourites. I love this mascara. This one is so old, it's got to be like two or three years old, um, which I know you're only supposed to keep them for, what does it say on it? This one says six months. <laughs> However, um, it smells fine and I haven't had an eye infection from it yet. So <laughs> we'll crack on. So I'm just gonna set where I want to. Which is good to set just here because I always have these like sort of smile lines. I forget what they're called. Nasolabial flaps, something like that. <laughs> Nasolabial folds, not flaps. Uh, that's just too much. That's too far. Uh, so it's good to powder there because it's just not a flattering place to have shine, is it? And then a little through here. Now the sun's gone in completely. Okay, so um, I had a little bit of blush on, but I had put the blush on before I put the highlighter on. So this may be a problem, but let's try, shall we? Let's see if I can work this glow in without it. So the colour I'm using is Aspen Alpen, so Alpen Glow. I'm sure I call it Aspen Glow, mostly. And it's a nice sort of peachy colour. But I didn't put lots on, so... quite nice and high up so I'm not the biggest fan of my lip shape and I cheat it all the time and I de this is a thing I need to do a video on with you guys just because you are born with a lip shape whether you like it or not you can adjust it to any lip shape really um, by using pencils and light and shade um, so you will have seen me do it over the years if you watched Pixie Woo I would change my lips very subtly all the time to look like the person. I would also change my eyes very subtly to look more like the person who I was doing the makeup on. Um, so, and you can totally do that with your mouth. Like I cheat and make my mouth wider all the time, right? Because I've got like this darker line here, right? I don't like that shape. I don't like why it's rounded there. And then there's all this extra space over here. So I just cheat it. Uh, but I need to use something that is as dark as the natural line, which is probably caused by sun, or maybe that's just my natural lip line. Uh, don't know. So, I try and pick a colour that's really similar. And then I change the angle. So I incorporate much more of the mouth because my mouth as it is, is quite downturned, which is not my favorite thing. I want it to be more of a smiley mouth. So that's what I do. And you see it already lifts the face, right? And then I use a finger just to blend it. But I'm not blending it outwards, I'm blending it inwards into the lip. And then if you want, you can push a bit of lipstick over the top. This is the Merit one that I really like. It's called, the color is called Baby. I would say it's sort of a mauvey nude. I mean, it's so slightly mauve, you wouldn't see it, but I see it. I'm gonna double up and use this Cocoa Dusk on the cheek 
use it on the eye earlier, I remember. So I'll just use it on the back of the cheek just to warm everything up. This brush is uh, Joy Adenuga. Her brushes are gorgeous and she did a collection with Adiola um, and they're lovely, really, really lovely. They're sort of powder and cheek brushes, but my God, such lovely quality. So you see how I'm using it at the back of the face here, around the hairline. Using it like I would a bronzer, really. Okay, you're just going to have to ignore... Um, I'll tell you what I could do. Let's cheat it. This is where I expose myself as being a bit useless. Sometimes... I will match a concealer to the colour of the blush that I've just put on, so my skin and the blush. Because, you know, you do your concealer and then you put your blush on and it removes it. So then you have to put the concealer on in the colour that your skin is now that you've got blush on it. <laughs> It's the sort of thing you can only do if you've got like millions of colours to blend. Um, that's not too bad, that'll do. Right, let me just spritz my hair back a bit. is better with this makeup. What do you think? I feel like it's like hot summer holiday vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like out dancing in a cool club or something. Like a bit sweaty. Obviously not in a roll neck. Let's pretend there's more skin. I don't know. What do you think? Um, right, that's it from me today. If you've got any questions about anything I've done today or anything that you want to see, please leave it below this video. Um, and that's it. Um, I'm going to, I'm still going to do this Betty Davis video. I just need to set my hair on rollers on like from wet and I just cannot be asked. It's a big one to do. So, <laughs> so I've kind of like been putting it off, but, um, I will do it. Oh yeah. Also I wanted to talk to you about a video that I want to do, um, and see if you're into it or not. Um, I don't do skincare on here nor do I want to do skincare on here because um, I'm very bad at using things for six weeks or more and I would need to use products for six weeks or more to be able to give you like any real useful advice on skincare um, also I'm just not I'm just not that interested in skincare I'm not interested in the ingredients in skincare I'm not your girl for that I'm just not the one but people always ask me what skincare I use. Um, and as a makeup artist, I have discussed this before actually, and as somebody that's really into the temporary, so makeup that you can take off, for example, I have no tattoos because I get bored too quick, um, I wanted to talk to you about the kind of products that I would have in my kit and the kind of products that I use pre makeup on myself and what these products are is that they're quick fixes i love something that is um, that gives you instant results but for a period of time anything where i have to wait six weeks to see a result i haven't got the patience for because i need to see it immediately otherwise i'm i'm out right i just haven't got the patience um so if you're interested in seeing my quick fixes so these are the your instant results but they're not going to do anything long term, absolutely not. But, but my instant results are the sort of things that I would use before I went out on a night or before I did something like before I had an important meeting or something like that. Anytime that I'm doing my makeup where it needs to really count. That was nice. I just put a tiny bit of this on top of the lip, you know, the highlighter. Just to tie it all together. Um, if, so, if you're interested in seeing my quick fixes, um, then let me know uh, if you are or you're not. And um, I'm going to see you in a few days.
or a week or however long it takes me to film my next video. Um, have a good one, guys. Take care. Don't forget, if you want to come over to Instagram and DM me about anything personal, because obviously you can't on YouTube anymore, then you can do that on, on Instagram. I'm just Sam Chapman over there. Um, S-A-M-C-H-A-P-M-A-N. So you can just DM me over there. Um, and that's it for today. Have a really good one. Sorry this video is so, so long. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.